Man's burning desire to shoot things is elemental and has existed for centuries. This fundamental ambition has been the driving force behind innovation in the manufacture of mechanical devices to achieve this goal. Modern manufacturing has been essential in reaching this lofty and noble cause to shoot that which needs to be shot. Using explosive powder to fire projectiles out of tubes began around the year 1249. Originally devices of this kind had little accuracy and shot round cannonballs. After these cannons were invented, personal firearms appeared during the mid-1300s. Every one of these was custom made and shot small round lead balls. Eventually these high speed projectiles were developed to the point where the bullet and the gunpowder were combined into a single unit. Mass production of bullets became a serious priority. Today 14 billion bullets are manufactured each year worldwide. The manufacturing process has become extremely efficient and necessitates automated processes. Modern bullets are manufactured using different materials depending upon the application. From rubber bullets used to break up riots, to depleted uranium bullets used to shoot through armored vehicles. Bullets can be made from many different materials. Most bullets are made from lead and copper because these materials are relatively cheap and have properties that are favorable for bullet action, like malleability and ductility, to improve impact performance and ease of manufacture. A modern bullet consists of a lead core protected by a copper jacket. When mass producing modern bullets through the process of machining, manufacturers begin with 80 pound slugs of lead called billets. Billets are placed into a hydraulic press that uses 250 tons of pressure, not heat, to force the soft ductile metal into wire. This wire is then cut up to form the core of the bullet. Different thicknesses of wire are used to make different calibers of bullets. Copper, being harder than lead, but still easy to form, is used to protect the lead through the process of shooting. Copper is cut and shaped into the jacket. The jackets are lubricated and trimmed, then pieces of lead wire are inserted into them. The absence of heat makes the machining process faster and cheaper. Casting is older technology used to make bullets. First, 70 pound bars of lead are melted at around 500 degrees. This molten lead is then cast into the proper shape. The lead is left in the mold for a short time to allow it to cool. After this, the roughly formed bullets are released from the mold. Because casting produces larger amounts of variation than machining, the lead cores must be lubed and trimmed to the correct size. Casting is a process that is not as widely employed for the mass production of bullets. This is because of the longer cycle time and higher variation which can lead to poor performance. Bullets that are manufactured are randomly sampled to measure variation in average bullet performance. A machine that is fixed in position is used to measure the average precision and standard deviation of each shot. When manufacturing a bullet, precision is extremely important because slight variations can significantly affect the performance and accuracy of the shot. Many times this is measured by extracting the bullet and inspecting how the tip mushroomed upon impact. Once the bullets are manufactured, they are pressed into the shell with gunpowder and are ready to shoot. Here are some of the many amazing things you can do with bullets.